Countdown to liftoff for the world's largest rocket. The Elon Musk Starship, transportation correspondent Gio Benitez has the details. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George, good morning. And this just in moments ago from Boca Chica, Texas, the launch has been scrubbed. SpaceX moved into dress rehearsal mode without actually launching the rocket. It turns out there was a pressurization issue. Now, humans have never seen a rocket this powerful. And once it launches, Musk hopes Starship will someday take us farther than we've ever gone. This morning, launch aborted. Decision right now is that we are going to stop the launch for today. The long anticipated Starship launch a failure. It's unfortunate, of course, we wanted to see fire today and lift off. But it's not the end of the road. Elon Musk and SpaceX rely on failures to tell them what to fix before humans get on board. The hope is to someday send humans back and forth to the moon and beyond. The plan was to send Starship into Earth's orbit. But overnight, Musk repeatedly warned in a Twitter session to subscribers that the launch may fail. I really want to lower expectations as much as possible here. So my top hope is please uh, may fate smile upon us and we clear the launch pad before anything goes wrong. That's all I'm asking. We've seen time and again as Starship explodes during tests. This one is a critical step in making daily trips to the moon and back possible and safe. 33 engines will propel Starship into space with 16 million pounds of thrust, twice as powerful as NASA's largest rocket, the SLS. Now, the goal is to eventually make round trips to and from Mars. Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa has already signed on to someday travel with eight artists to the moon on Starship. I don't like being alone, so I want to share these experiences and things with as many people as possible. And Musk has said all along he wants humans to be an interplanetary species. And this is exactly how this happens with the SpaceX Starship. It is a very expensive piece of equipment. And sometimes SpaceX is willing to risk it to learn what can go wrong, but not in this case. And SpaceX now says it's going to try again in about two days. They will once again close off portions of South Texas because there is a level of risk to the community once it launches, guys. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.